which is the one we're going to suggest to you. The 2161? Yes, sir. give you a minute uh, to review it if you haven't seen it before. Okay, so on the Bob, left... Bob, Bob, on the, yeah, the, on the left on is... On the left is the, the, the standard... The tax calculation if we went up to the levy limit. Correct. Okay. On the right is the one where... There you go. And this leaves how much of the levy limit? On the 390, right? Yes. Correct. Right. Okay. Um, yep. On the right, folks. Which was, I thought, Which I thought that was what you had. Right. I right. thought that was what yeah. you were requesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I just, right. I just want to. That's the right number. If, it's, if, if I'm it's wrong, the wrong number, it's our fault, okay? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> well, that's that's right. Right. <laughs> okay, so. But it's the right number. Okay. And what are we at now? I'm sorry, I don't have it in, ingrained in my memory like 20. many people do. 2120. 20. Okay. The debt numbers are fresh from Julie. <coughs> Make sure of that. 1.7. Okay. Has has the overall the overall valuation of the town is assumed to be the same then from what I'm, I'm looking at? Yes, sir. Okay. So there's no change in valuation of the town. Uh, the percentages between the different residential and commercial industrial all look the same. Mm -hmm. They haven't changed. Um, so the 41 uh, cent increase that we're looking at per thousand mm -hmm. is strictly due to the larger budget and there's nothing to mitigate that. Correct. Well, unless you get the budget changed on town mm -hmm. meeting floor. Okay. But but there, this but, is this but, but basically reflects the budget as presented. Right, right in our email exchange, which is, which is what we're presenting at town meeting. Correct. What's in the way? And and, and, I, and we're, I'm just going with my um, my question is there's there's nothing on the underlying valuations or proportions or anything else that changed. So this would have. Um, then the tax rate, for example, had had that budget been presented last December. Correct. Okay. Anything else has changed? Mm -hmm. We didn't want to do any ratchet at the top. A little bit of change here, or there, in all these different classes. Even if uh, it, commercial may go down, if there's anything to be seen in anything, we just wanted a baseline. You know, uh, from last fiscal. Okay. Uh, the board has is feels very strongly that as much actual data as possible mm -hmm. is used for projection. So this baseline is is really reflecting actual data at the top. So there was no tweaking even if residential goes down 0 0.06 and yeah. commercial drug, you know none of that was done okay. to, to 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 muddy up the numbers. It, okay. You know that leaves that out of it. Okay. Do you have an indication on the valuation? I mean, you've held them flat, right? I'm reading the assumptions. Mm -hmm. Do we have Deviation any? is is what I, I spoke with David a couple of times, and we've looked at a lot of the sales, and you know, category could go up just a bit, another one go down a little bit. It's so it's um, negligible at this point. We were basically flat. This okay. Day. But to to yeah. to ask a question that. Will probably will come up. Will be asked. You know, we're we're hearing, and I heard a story today of someone who put their house up for sale in Southboro. They were asking six thirty. The final bid came in at something like six seventy or something like that. Nice well, job. very high. But if that were to happen here, that wouldn't really show up in our tax bill until yeah. fiscal sixteen. Yeah, Correct. yeah, because okay. you're 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 falling because, behind because a year. Right. Okay. I, uh, Eighteen months actually. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, be, that's the kind that of thing we just need to get out in front of everybody. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the. No. What you need to understand <laughs> is that if they had ordered an appraisal on their property before putting it on the market. You might have had an appraisal at 670 and would have sold for 670. Part of what's going on is the brokers don't know how to anticipate. Right. They're marketers. Right. They can't predict the sale price. Right. So since the appraisers just go on history, right? Well, but 
Yeah, but we're going on a lot of analysis. Okay, okay there's no there's no adjustments on a on a market data report. Okay. But the other thing that you need to understand is that one false move um, overseas and everything drops to zero for the next 30 days. The National Association of Realtors um, wants to put the best shine on this apple as they can. Right. So the overall statistics are up somewhere around 6% nationwide. Um, that um, does not account for the some eight states where it's down 22%. Okay. Okay. So we're trying to be, you've got three appraisers. Um, there's me and the two other, the, the um, our assessor and um, and his assistant who's in the office, that this has to be as close to science rather than... And, yeah, rather than anticipating what's going to yeah. happen. It's and if they have questions like that, you call me, I'll explain it. Well, you know, we're, we're going over this now. We're going to present the town meeting. There are a few people who watch this because they're ill. And, um, <laughs> you're convalescing, right? No, the doctor said keep your temperature down. So, uh -huh. just, so, just food for thought, folks. The number of houses on the market is low. Yeah. So it's a seller's market. It's driving prices. So that'll drive possibly could drive prices up, which possibly, depending on how long this lasts, could drive. Our I remember many stories from my wife's thinking. community of. A bunch of houses being sold in like days yeah. recently. Well, yeah, where? Because where? where? No, oh, that's and, and that's good. No, I mean here. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, it's good. There's there's no benefit in keeping a house on the market any longer than you have to. Mm -hmm. So if you do a good enough job, as a matter of fact, if you were a lender and it's in foreclosure, what they tend to do is to put it on the market about three percent less mm -hmm. than what they think it's going to sell for and then watch everybody oh, climb oh, over each other. Yeah, no, I see that. Okay. So that, it's a, that's it's a marketing. Extreme. But it's again, marketing. remember you sell it, you know, whatever the sale price is today, never, you, we don't that's see that in here for 18 yeah. months. And it's know. what the buyer will pay. Yeah. So also, please remember on commercial, the, the top is, is, is deliberately left flat. Even if residential goes up a, a couple of points in that, in there, if commercial goes down because Emulex is leaving, Yep. Um, and so the vacancy rate will be high, and so they'll be in looking for um, mm -hmm. abatements. Um, Paragon has just classified as a manufacturing corporation, so they were a pretty decent heavy hitter for part a good portion of personal property. Okay. Uh, that is going away. So we didn't want to like play with these and and okay. put a you know. Don't just trying to understand the assumptions, David. Uh, just to be clear, when the tax rate is set next November. It'll be based on December 31, 2013 prices, evaluations. Uh, uh, 2013, the year. December, in other words. So you're saying the tax rate is? June, June. This, 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 Which this, tax rate is he talking about? This Thanksgiving, when you set the tax rate. For fiscal 15, 15 will be based on January. You're asking the sales? It'll be based on the January fiscal first fiscal sales. evaluations, the date oh, of evaluation. Which is, right, which is the lag. So there's right, a, right. There's that's a the 18-month lag. Month, 18 month, the 18-month lag. It's an 18-month lag. I still didn't hear the answer. What the date January will be? January 1st, 2013. January 1st, 2013. Yes. 14. So 14. 13 sales. 14. Okay. So year end 2013 or beginning of year 2014? No. No. Nothing into 2014. It, it, it would. Every fiscal 2015 starts July 1, 2014, and right. it's based on the value as of January 1, 14, which is Correct. based on the sales in 2013. There, I thought that was okay. okay. So okay. you are always, right. and that, and that's not our idea. That you can thank. So no, no, that's that's just, it's that's a snapshot on January 1st of the prior yeah. year. Yes, so right, right. Okay. right. So our tax, so the projections here, I see, the 21-20 went up. How much from the year before? 
Or the um, 41 cents. cents. Do you see the difference yeah. in rate yeah. in the no, no, no. Yeah. The 20 by 20 for the prior year. Oh, you mean was the up how much do we remember from the fiscal year? 2096, I think, was the previous year, wasn't it? No? 20.96? Yeah. Yeah, that's For 2013, yeah. Yeah. So, just an absolute <laughs> dollars. Our archivist. I was at 1.1%. <laughs> And now we're looking at one point nine. I'm just, I'm, I understand well, the assumptions. I'm just struggling with. There, there's other, there's other things. No, I think the, the forecast that we were given last year was high compared to what actually came in. Oh no, I agree. But I was using actuals here. Twenty ninety six to twenty one twenty. Right. So there, there could be mitigating sure. factors between now and that makes this go down. That makes this go down. I agree. But at, uh, at this point, when we don't know what they are, we have to take yeah. our best guess. I'm just looking at trend. Leaving the mm -hmm. how much levy capacity did we did we leave last year? Mm -hmm. two, I don't two something two, two seventy five. That sounds about right. I think yeah. that's right. So in in theory, I have to look at it this way. Uh, this three ninety is uh, is a good uh, result uh, for this budget cycle, but. In relative terms, it's it's not uh, it's not like we 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 just created 390. We only created a delta between 390 and 275. And I always say only, not the marginalized. No, you're right. But That's one it's way a couple yeah. Yeah. more hundred thousand, which is a really right. good step, and we're proud of that outcome. It's better than not. But ultimately, the the tax rate already built in already had in it some levy capacity built in that would also work over time to do. Mm -hmm. yep. And then some of that is mitigated by the fact that expenses, most notably the schools, are up 600000 and we need to, to support that. And that's if we didn't like have six that, some yeah. percent of the budget. Yeah. If we, and that's a really hard one to manage, to control. Yeah, I actually did a, a sheet that I'm going to pass out later, but of the so the, our budget expenditures in total are going up 3.2 percent overall, schools, and, the and the schools are 2.8 percent of that. Of that. Of that. The, two point, the schools make up 2.8 percent of that 3.2 percent increase, because everything else is up 80,000 wow. bucks. In That's the next shocking. Year over year. Yeah. That's really our shocking. Our expenses are up 650,000, and the schools account for 570,000. That's 88 percent of the yes. increases the schools. Yeah. I hope like, that's like going to be a top meeting. Excluding the school, it's just the town budget only went up $80,000. Yeah. And it only went up $75,000 last year. We were not yeah. going to be sure. no. The treasurer would have that. But we I can yeah. certainly share it with you. Well, it's, it's, it's just sure. it's, like, it's just striking yeah. when you look yes. at, uh, 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 you know, a lot of the good work is also muted by the fact that this was a particularly heavy year of school increase. Because last year we didn't have nearly that much. And isn't that great in the school system either? Isn't it down to like 25%? You know? Well, we. It's true. 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 It's what 13 to 14 ended up being after all the numbers. Oh, after after yeah, the after change. Yeah. 200,000, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So, so do we know, and last question for me, I'm sorry to, to commandeer the questions here, but do we remember, do we have the, what, what tax rate did we use in the presentation last year versus, versus the, the 2120 ultimately, right? We used 2238. Um, I know this is an imperfect science. We get that. What I'm trying to frame for myself is, at this time last year for the town meeting, we estimated 22.38 as the rate for 14, and the rate for 14 ultimately was 21.20. So it was almost a buck less. Yep. Yeah, because of, of perfectly acceptable reasons of estimation. But what right. I don't, I would caution. I'm not going to pay for the buck, but I'm just. It's okay. also to <laughs> say that, and then you know, people's expectations would be, well, it's not going to be 2161. It's going to be something less. Yeah. I I, I would really caution you not to bring that up. No, I, I'm doing it for myself. Okay. Well, yeah, because I don't. You know, there's <laughs> other there's other things that could come down and and you know impact this. 
um, that we, you know we'll talk to you about in a second. But you know, I, I don't want you to assume that okay. it's going to go down, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then for future years, if there's any you know capital or debt exclusions that go on, you know, in this town meeting or the next or the next or the next, that also that impacts because that just like right there. Well. You know, that's you know, it's what, what's interesting about this year is the operating budget for the first time, for the first time that anybody remembers, the operating budget presented to the town came in below the maximum allowed. Mm -hmm. So you could have a so a tax exclusion has the same effect on your tax rate as a non tax exclusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes no difference to how right. indebted the town is or any or how much the town. Is going to pay or how it gets uh, uh, dispersed among the taxpayers. The only way you can do that math is if you're at the levy limit and then you put something else inside yes. right where they have. Right, right. Is then it's the exact. Or uh, on top of it. On top, or on on top, top of it, which is what a debt exclusion if, does. Right. If you are above. under the levy limit. Yes. And you yes. put and something you, new in, like right. a debt payment on a fire truck can, or something, you, can, you are raising you can, people's taxes for that. Yeah, you know? right. Because. Uh, yeah. you're eating up capacity that you previously had on the table. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, right. right. And then it's, it's just a point of fact. I just yeah. want to make sure y'all. Yeah. yeah, and I just, for the sake of the conversation and understanding this, so then as debt is paid off, does that automatically come off the top? Uh, or where if does that come excluded, off? If it's excluded, excluded okay. debt, it would. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, most and we would realize that directly. Most of it is, because, mm -hmm. you know, when you, like yeah. the, the, the new police and fire station, the library, the, right. um, the, Force main and the sewage for the and schools. Stuff. Yeah. That was all debt voted debt exclusions. So you see the debt exclusion here, Stasha, on the sheet. Yes. If, if that number comes down, the proposed levy limit comes down, yeah. which means we have to raise less taxes to pay for it, and everything comes down. Yes, right. So if but the fire truck goes through, how does that affect that number? It doesn't affect it because the fire truck doesn't hit the taxes until 16. So, so it will, but it will. This that was my point. Thank yes. you. It will, and yes. that was yes. it will we'll be because we'll have to raise <laughs> right. the, Thank you. in the next year a debt payment, to, the, to, which will eat levy capacity mm -hmm. up unless there's a trade off that's found for it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, now Jeff, you wanted to talk about some of the assumptions that go into this. No, I wanted to talk about a caveat. Okay, well, let's talk about a caveat instead. This is it's highly important, and you folks okay. have to know this. I don't mean it is a bad thing. It's actually a good thing, but it's a pain in the rear for the assessors. If you look at the figure for new growth estimate, it's the 165 figure. Yeah. Uh, coming on board, what that does not include in the future is the taxes that will be generated from our solar array that's down on the Davis property that is just now getting started. It's finally generating income. So they have sold power. And they're selling power to what? To Chelmsford. Chelmsford. Okay. And therefore, we will be able to accrue income from that once. It's two quarters away, more than likely, but it's coming. The problem we have is that our illustrious DOR has said our format in order ge to generate those taxes is something they didn't want to accept. Didn't we hire uh, somebody? That was for the wireless. We're going to go. Oh. Matter of fact, that five thousand dollars you're going to have. Yeah. There it goes. This is what we're going. To, we're going back to. We're going back. We're going back. Who came up with the formula that we presented to the DOR? Just did 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 did, did no. you guys? No, no. The someone? DOR doesn't receive formulas. It dictates formulas. <laughs> so so the they, just, they didn't give us advice. They had no advice at the time that we were negotiating the pilot, along with a bunch of other communities, and they negotiated their own pilots. But, okay, so, but, 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 now, yeah. let me go back to that because I'm confused. Because I thought the pilot was a payment in lieu of taxes. 
<laughs> yes. Can, can I? So yes. the pilot let's, and balloon yes. taxes. Yes. Okay. okay. So solar comes out of the gate. That all the towns are negotiating. You know the bandwidth of what towns are getting is is very large. Some towns take a little bit. Some take ask for more. It's all in what they can get in the pilot. Uh, DOR never rang in about pilots. All the towns start up. Some towns did decide to put it all into a real estate pro forma, core, you know, billing system, or put the machinery and the panels in personal property under the guises of a pilot. So in Bolton, the land portion is taxed the regular way, an increased value of commercial. But the personal property, the above the ground structures Special. are the pilot for personal okay. property. So the DOR was silent for the two years that all the towns are going around seeing what best to put together, what negotiations can be made. Many towns have pilots. Very little towns already put it in the real estate tax structure for valuation. Now comes a mandate from the DOR in the backstretch after all this has been done and sanitized by town councils and everything else, presented at town meeting, that there will be no estimated receipts, that the pilot payment does not go on page three estimated receipts. It has to be all part of the levy structure and have valuation that can be quantified. So it has to be on the recapitulation Growth has to be captured, and you have to show your valuation methodology to DOR. No, so, well, we, which, which means you can only go off of history? No, no. Okay. What, let me back up. What we used was an income approach mm -hmm. based on the sales generated by the plant. Okay. And we, we are getting a percentage of their net income. Yep. But that's yep. future future income. We can't realize that um, number until right. they sell it and they have and it. And they report back. And they report back to us. Well, the DOR says you can't do it that way. Okay. Because so, that makes way too much sense. No I'm kidding. Yes. Before we get to the hypotheticals, we got to understand what's actually reality. happening. That's the reality. That's not mm -hmm. the hypothetical. That is the reality. Oh, okay, but we're complicating the hell out of this. But, but so, this so cannot be estimated at all? No. So the contract that we signed, the pilot that we signed with the developer, correct, is is needs to be redone. Well, no, no. Okay. We would be probably sued by the. So how do we? People, we we, 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 we have to translate. We have to translate. It's a, it's a it's a conversation that we have to have with DOR, and it's been got, we've been having it with DOR about how do we treat this. Yeah. And so the the upshot is we don't know what they're going to say, and how they and, want but to we do also it. don't know how it may impact this. That's what we wanted to let could, you know. Could, there could be an impact here. We don't know what it is, and we won't know until we can get our conversation completed with DOR. But, but is one possibility is that it gets treated like cell tower income? We, it, it, the where does the cell tower income get reported? It's not part. Is it part of on um, page three? Uh, at the it, receipts. It's, it's it's on other income. Yeah, page yeah, we, three. Yes, we're okay. not allowed to do that. Yeah. Yeah. The game plan, the preliminary game plan, uh, there is a is a plan. Mm -hmm. Harold is championing it with the DOR. Mm -hmm. Back to your thing about history. Yes, a pilot payment should be coming in soon, and we should get another quarterly's worth before we have to map that payment back to a value. Mm -hmm. so that's what department wants it all in the recapitulation, which if we have a couple of payments, then, we'll then we can map it back. In the income stream, there's a few things that are all up to negotiation factors and, and um, cap rates and whatever, but it, it can be done. And her uh, is, 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 is this ever is this ever going to be recognized as revenue, or is it always going to show oh, no, no, up no, no, as no. free cash after the fact? And because, because it was yeah, never in the budget. No, it's it's going to be yeah. in the new growth. Levy. Thing. It's going it's to be in the levy. It's yeah. going to be in the levy. But have, yeah. under new growth. Help me out. If we're if we're locked in a contract with the developer. Yeah. On how 
we're going to tax them. Oh no, it's not. It's not going to affect the money coming in from them. So who's going to pass the money? The the month the month we know we. Yeah. It's how it's how, how, how we it, treat it. What do we call it? I understand, it? but I'm hearing. I'm, all right, so then maybe I misheard. I heard up potential upside. Mm -hmm. Maybe I misheard that. So no, I think be, that's true. But how can it be? Who's going to pay the potential upside if we're locked into? No, they're going to give us whatever the payment is, yeah. and then it's uh, we have to figure out how how to fit it into, you know, DORs. It's up to DOR and how it gets reported. Our, it was our belief okay. and our intention that it was going to be. Okay. It's not under other. So Business how it gets reported. The money's not going away. It's a which if, line if does it's a hundred thousand or a hundred thousand. How it gets reported as impacts positive or negative on the way that we calculate our rate. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's what we're trying to. Find. We don't know the answer. That's this, this is, we're we, we are going to see a sizable increase in growth in the new growth figure. Possibly. Because well, of this, just because of this, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Will it be resolved by December? Oh. No. No, I don't. Not think even so. close. Well, well, why are you telling us about no? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know something. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, you're just making your chair. You know Jeff, oh, erase right. the tape. He's just making your chair. We are. We are the home of the eleventh hour surprise. I'm going to be pulling my hair out because I understand. We got so about. This is CYA, no. so when all the numbers are yeah, there, sure, no, possibly very because very I different. remember when you're flush with facetious. a lot of growth. I remember the look on your face. We told you. We have the. You know, we have a settlement from on. Okay, but. Wireless. Now, I, I, now I'm, I'm moving ahead here, but since this money that we're going to get checks for, quarterly checks for, is coming in, and there's no bucket for it, it's just it's just going to sit there and be go? free cash until July 1st when it gets right. Until we know where to apply. It's going to be unexpected income. Yeah, you could you could, you if you want to go that because that's it's not going to be in, not it's not ours. well it's not going to be in your recapitulation. Yes, yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it that's has it. to be. Well, that's what they're saying. Gonna, no, it's no, a no, supplemental, no. the same way that right. we would have. Do you know how when we have things that have changed from the previous quarter, it gets reported as a supplemental? There's a change. Okay. Okay. That's how this is. That is how. So this you is will get you will recognize the income, but you can't project. Where it's going to go and how you yeah. can use it. You can't build okay. on the levy limit. With I understand. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. all. Okay, right, okay. Right, right, okay. Right, right. You, you can't start. They can't start the snowball. That's right. right. We know it's coming in. Yeah, yeah. But, you, that away. but, but once it comes in, you can take that into Those account in, in at Thanksgiving when you set the tax rate. Yes. It's actually come in. You can recognize that revenue. We map it back to a value. Right, a supplemental. That's right. It gets a value okay. and has to be reported as if it was actually getting a tax bill. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So so, so no be, more it'll be counted as the fifth as fifteen taxes. Right. Tax it, absolutely. Yes. Okay. So now your levy okay. changes, your right. growth might but, change. But that's why we're concerned because as she says everything changes when that figure is. Yes, yeah, depends on where yeah. they let us put it. Okay. okay. Understood. And, right. and so we, we know you think that we keep it in the trunk, yeah. okay, <laughs> of our cars. I, 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 never, uh, I have it under my mattress. That's, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> so we're here to tell you we're, we're, we've got something coming. Sure. We have every reason to believe it's going to be something good. We don't know what it is, and we're waiting for the sure. right. almighty but state house to Even if DOR procrastinates, we're still this. this it's it's not going to make this number the twenty one sixty. No, no, oh, no. I didn't mean to insinuate. No, I just I did. You didn't. I just want to make sure I understood. No, absolutely. Yeah. It's okay. the, it's the following one. But if it's yeah. that's why you say by December we'll probably be still in. If we win, quote unquote, or get where we want to, that yes. the future of the hundred and sixty five might might be much better. Than that. That's yes. correct. Right. Absolutely. That's all we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we have to go upstairs. We have a yeah. right. 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 Okay. Okay. Sorry to be evasive. We, we don't know where we are. Welcome. Nice to meet you. I will say you didn't tell you. Yes. 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 So Bolton gets You'll have to figure out what you're going to do with it. A lot of towns so don't get it. Not me, but yeah. 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 Thank you very much for coming. Thanks, guys. Thank you.
Yeah. 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 Unless you want to stay? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Take care. They're going to go upstairs and watch us up there. You want a close circuit upstairs? No, we have another vacation. Oh, no, we'll be upstairs when we're done. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Nice to see you. Did everybody get that? What they just said? Oh, no. That's all. We have money coming in. They don't, that's not going to change, but where it's going to get thrown into this well, some, uh, if some gallery will show up no, it'll it'll show up in new growth somehow but they don't know do with it. Yeah. 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 it's not a discussion for this year anyway right. so. yeah so, okay but, but it will increase free cash which is nice <laughs> um what would it be? no i thought they said it could decrease the rent yeah, no, if, they, if they're able to apply it right, it would, it, it would be... It's tax well, they'll, they'll be able to show it as fiscal 15 income. Yeah, the, fiscal income, which they don't have to raise from something else. Right. right. So the tax rate could go a little lower. Everything being equal. Right. Okay, so this is the number you're going to use in the presentation? I already got it written. <coughs> and you are top Something notch. Cool. Um... I'd like to go on the presentation. Just let me change gears briefly here. Uh, we've got two more meetings before annual town meeting. Uh, but two weeks from tonight, Jim Anker is having a presentation uh, at the library on um, basically town meeting procedures. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna ask, do we wanna have a regular meeting next week here and then be posted for the Jim Anker meeting? And uh, we could attend that as a group, and if there's any business remaining, we could conduct our business when Jim's presentation is finished. Can we do, do it then? Do we know um, why? Well, am I missing something? Why do we need to attend, Jim? I've, I've well, attended in the past. I've, I mean, I've never attended in the past, oh, okay. but... I, I mean, I, I've, I've um, attended in the past. It's <coughs> procedural on, you know, motions and move the questions mm -hmm. and that kind of yeah. stuff. I mean... Something you know already. Okay. Right? I think so. All right, so we could skip it? I, I, I plan to. Okay. Yeah. Unless there's some value to Jim on having us there. That's why I thought, that's what I thought you were going to I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen at town meeting. Do you know what's going to happen at town meeting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that's a good point. There. I know what I'd like to have. There are potential, uh, yeah, no, I, I will attend if you think it's, uh, it's important for us to well, have what, a plan. When's the anchor meeting start and what is the Saturday. game plan for us going? What, what are we looking to accomplish next week? Uh, I think finish the presentation. I think all we have to go on is to finish the presentation before the May 5th meeting. Mm -hmm. That's that's everything on our agenda, although we, right. we've got a, a transfer tonight. But, um, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. So. Um, Can we sign the articles already? Yes. 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 Sign yours. Yes. 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 Should have gotten the one. I don't remember getting it. I remember you telling me that I got the pot. But you should have gotten the email. Right 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 I really thank you guys for it. You're very welcome. And that was straight by me. It's kind of you. You should have. What was that? Is that a delay? I don't know. You should have gotten an email this afternoon with the uh, minutes from last week's meeting, which has the, the articles on it. Oh, I got the old fire station? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. we didn't want to give it to Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll All right. Um, so, right now we'll plan not to attend Jim Aker's meeting, but I'll bring it up next week anyway, okay. just in case things change. Okay. So, Brad, you want to walk us through the presentation? Yeah. My, um, I have mine too when I'm ready when you were ready for me to sum it up. All right. My expectation was there was gonna be copies here because yeah, I, I, I think I sent out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Staple at the bottom, very unconventional. I don't know, right? No one's really shaking things up up there, huh? Yeah. That's very awesome. <coughs> okay, so first page, pretty simple. We didn't even have any edits on that last week. 
Uh, coming out of last week's meeting um, on page two, where the title is Significant Events of FY14, um, the request was to change abnormally to unusually, so that's what that is. Uh, and then the other comment was I fixed the spot right after the seven on bullet point number two. Um, so put a space in there. The last bullet, uh, capital purchases, uh, has been updated to reflect 875-368. Those were the edits uh, that we all discussed last week. Any questions? That 875, that's the uh, ambulance coming off? No, what was that, to 2.5? Yeah, the 875. I like that change. You might want to, um, it's part. And was, didn't we talk last week about having some sub bullets that illustrate the 875, or is it too numerous to mention? Um, Can we mention them in I'm thinking that should be 845. Mm -hmm. I had, we took all this and I said, Subtracted out the two, 245, 250 from the ambulance. Because right? the original number was 125368. So I had, yeah. I, the number that I had was 1125368. Where did that number come from? That number was... And why would we include the ambulance in there? We're, we're taking the ambulance from other available funds. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my question. I was trying to figure out. Right, give me a minute. Let me... Um I'm just looking at these two numbers here. That's where I'm getting my numbers from. More doctors using free cash and borrowing. Well, go go work go work through your, your, your numbers and you know we can, that's why we got a couple more weeks. We don't have to resolve it right now. So I'm just questioning that number. It could be right. I just I'm just overlooking. I may be overlooking something. Second bullet, and I'm sorry, I, I wasn't here last week. Um, thinking about what we just talked to the assessors about equals 390.127 of total property tax relief. I wonder if it makes sense <coughs> to reword that to be 390.127 of, of levy capacity unused in fiscal 15, right? Because it's not all relief. It's the only relief is the difference between the unused capacity this year versus last year. So it's not a reduction, is what you're saying. Yeah, from, it reads like total relief of 390 is going to hit your pocket. Right. You're only going to get hit by the difference between 390 and whatever it was last year. Yeah. So to make it to make it clear, you might want to say 39127 of of total levy capacity unused in fiscal 15. It says the same thing 
How about unused tax capacity? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or unused tax capacity. You know, some of, uh, 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 you know, you could even, if you wanted to, say a majority of which will be realized in tax relief. Do you know what I mean? But it's not a one for one. Okay. So, right. 390.127 of unused tax capacity. Mm -hmm. And you can speak to it when you speak about this, Brad. You can say of which you know a significant portion is new. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know, something like that. Would it make sense to put the number in there and then tie it back to how much that actually is off the rate? Or does, is that like too much to? If well, people are looking for I would, that. I would put the rate as well. for the buck. Right away. Okay. Yeah, the rate is, is so soft to okay. what they do. And the assessors do a great job, but they are oh, that's right. they do it's soft on yeah. purpose because they just don't. The worst scenario for them is to come up with a rate that they go over. Right, right. No, I didn't realize <laughs> that. So it would, it, and the difference is not super significant. I mean, it is good, but it's... It's, it's very good. It's just... It's really good. Good. It was only a hundred and a couple thousand dollars. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, On page three, the only thing I would say is we should put the number. It's 80. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't want to step on you. So, last year's democracy. I got to go look at that. Okay. All right, so I'm still going to. We'll move forward now. Yeah. All right. Um, so, page three. We, um, there's a few other points coming out of the presentation from last year that we decided to get rid of. And um, so the first bullet point was um, a recommendation from, an e from Bob that I got in an email the other day. Second year in a row, non-educational town expenses increased by less than $100,000, representing less than 0.4 of the budget. It's 8201 if we wanted to put in the right number, but yeah. it is less than 100,000, right? I like the number. Town says increased by 82, whatever. That's right. Less than 100 could be 90. All right, so increased yeah. by. Um, yeah. yeah, but you can't say second year in a row. Because well, then you can say this is the second year in a row, it's less than 100,000. Unless you want to say, you know, 75000 last year. Yeah. So. Or you can say that when you get to the, if the bridge slide that I created remains, you can say the 80000 then. That's what I'm Okay. So we're going to keep, so less than 100000 representing less. All right. And then I had some wrong numbers on bullet point two. So debt service will decline 2.75% over prior year, 2.1 million for... FY six in FY six. All right. Well, why are we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think the same thing. That's the yeah. That's right. Yeah. I still didn't fix that. Okay. Focus on that. Yeah. 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 All right, so then we move to slide four, and we got rid of FY11, and now we're looking at 12 through 15. Great job in the graphs. Thanks. That was you. I wouldn't have said I thought it was Brad. <laughs> <laughs> you added these though, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Is that okay? Well, it's just, I'm, I'm sitting here going like, I know that was in the old slide. I know I didn't leave them in the new slide. So is this the old slide or the new slide? But if you added them in, that's fine. That yeah, explains it. Okay. That's fine. Questions? Um, nope. All right. And then... Maybe. Here's yeah. the moment you've been waiting. Uh, yeah, hey. So I heard last week there was some discussion on the slide, and I, I wasn't here to uh, 
to offend it, I guess, or talk. No, we, you know what? We didn't do anything. Sorry, we'll 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 we'll
Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you go. All right, all right. Go go to the Me too. I guess the only other question I have is on the green on the green thing. Yeah. You for all the others you've got the that's because it's going down. Okay. That's so why you got this, this goes up, this goes up, this goes up, and then this starts at the top and goes yeah. down. Right. And so I've got the first. That's how I do it in that's fine. the corporate world if, if you want to. No, that's fine. It works. Yeah. How, is there a lot of time for the presentation? Because I, I, I needed your explanation to get it, and I loved it once I got it. But is it going to screw up time? To, um, when he's yeah, looking at it, like 10 minutes? It's, it's got to be year, like well inside 10 minutes. minutes yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you, all right, there you go. I didn't love it. We, we got rid of a whole slide. You can forward this to me. Yeah, when I all fix right. this, I can do it. Uh, actually, I'll make it notes so you can more. just, uh, I'll fix it. Okay. Because we're not all, um, yeah, I'm not messing, I'm not changing any of the that formulas, no. just the footnote. Does it come over as an Excel or is it like a PDF? It's in the PowerPoint. It's in the PowerPoint. Oh. And each one of these, the way I build it, some people build it in Excel. I don't like building Excel. Each one of these is a box that's in the, you know, you have to move oh, okay. 50 things yeah. to get it right. So this is a slide that I think we'll just print just like this. Yeah. And we'll go up on the projector just like this. This is how we did it last year too. I could snap it as a PDF so it doesn't get problems with formatting. Maybe we'll do that, but that's not how it is. It shouldn't right be there. a problem if it's just boxes in a PowerPoint slide. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I wanted to make sure that yeah. Brad didn't take on changing it. And okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Now we are on to page six. The FY 2015 expenditures. So essentially, the same pie chart as we used last year, uh, just updating the numbers um, to reflect what's going on this year. And the, uh, we made notes when we were going through this last week to make uh, note of the, the breakdown of the debt. So um, any questions? Just what are you going to say if somebody says, what do you mean <clears throat> you got 4% for town schools here and you've got education debt over here? What, what, what is that? What gives? Mm -hmm. That's a question. Yeah. Well, it's... One, relate, <coughs> one relates to Neshoba, what the school committee does on their own. One relates to what Bolton incurred to build the schools. This the, uh, Sawyer. Yeah. So yeah. this this is debt that's included in our in, assessment. In, yes. I, including for Minuteman. And whereas this this six percent for or the four percent for town schools, that's Sawyer and Emerson, not the high school. Right. We never get that question, but it was fun. It was great. Um. <laughs> 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 what if someone says yeah, you did marijuana man <laughs> is that from the TV I think so All right. that's, from you. that's from the control room isn't it oh. all right all right they make the files um, I like it. Okay. Ooh, this is new. It was it was up for discussion whether or not we want to include it. So we decided to take out the uh, comparable expenses to other towns of our size. Huh? Yes. We got. I think it's out of it's it's out of the shelf life. Yes. Not much has changed. Um, there's nothing new. There's no news in there. Why? Why? Brad, uh, if I were you, anecdotally, if you have time in your dry run, it would be, I think, useful for you to say something about it on like slide six or somewhere, but even if it's on the bridge slide, to say, hey, we're still, we, we haven't included it in the slides this year, but for those that are interested, you know, we Bolton still ranks 
on average in the middle of you know on a, in the average of towns our size, right? Because there are new people mm -hmm. that come to town meeting that if they're paying attention, you know, one of the questions may be how does Bolton compare to yeah. you know? Because there's a lot of noise out there about our spending levels being excessive. There's a lot of people that are benchmarking that spending to other towns and. Uh, I think it's still important to maybe mention, but I probably agree that it's not worthy of a separate slide anymore. So what does this one do, Bob? Well, this is the first year we've had excess levy capacity at budget time. So this shows us, um, it, it's using 2014 as a basis. Um, these are dollars on the x-axis? No, those are town rankings. Oh, okay. So, um, let me get one of these for David. I have an older copy. Um, and the percentages are the percentage. Oh, he's got it's, it's, it's in the percentage. percentage. Okay. Yeah, the there. percentage of the percentage of excess capacity that's right. left. Yeah. I don't think you like the arrows, I have to say. Yeah. It is. <clears throat> no, it, it gets kind of busy. You know, we, we discussed whether or not to increase. Um, and, and why would you certainly the line isn't very yeah, in black and white, it's not coming through. Yeah, no, yeah. if you put bars coming right off the line, you wouldn't have to put bolt and bolt and bolt and bolt and just put the, the just put the year the years. Okay. <clears throat> because you're telling it what it is at the top, bolt and ranking right here. So basically what this shows is that we're moving toward um, more unused levy capacity each year. This, you know, that, that's the trend we're going toward. Um, you know, and, and we're in the upper third of all the towns in the state in terms of unused levy capacity. This is dollars or as a percent of? As a percent. As a the percent of available as a capacity. Yeah. Dollars would not be useful. Right. Right. Measure. I agree. Yeah. That's why it's <clears throat> but we could we could make this much more striking with a bar. Like that? Or a, you know. You could even do that. Have a, a straight line. You know, you don't need like, to, like you don't right. need the, the top to be seven here. You'd need right. to you, you need it to be ten. Okay. If you made it ten. Okay. So I'm going to rescale. Things are like yeah. this, yeah. right? And then on the top of each of the bar, you can you write 2005, 2004, or 2015, okay. 2014, okay. and you can see the slope, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can do a bar for each one because <coughs> very close. These. Well, you could. You, you could do a bar and then get rid of this axis and then just put the ranking down here, like you know, number 32 yeah. out of 365. And then yeah, this one that's could be nice. 32 or so it could be Not 50 out of 3, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. So I could put the percentage up here and then put just put the ranking down below. Okay. I mean, it's something like that. Okay. I'll try a couple different ways and see how it works. And what that tells people is that over the past five years, we have improved our levy capacity position for ourselves and relative to our ranking right. in other towns. Right. So we can almost make the correlation. Yes, we do have a high tax rate compared to the other towns, but we also, but we also, we rank very favorably on, <laughs> it's almost like you could say it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you know, I mean, we, you know, of those same towns, we are, you know, we're, we are, uh, 106th out of 337 right. in terms of the percentage of levy capacity unused. Because right. yeah. there is a sentiment among some people that if there's money available, we're going to find a way to spend it. I've heard that several times and we, we, we're not. That's right. That's right. We're not doing that. Before we go to the um, the last slide, can we just go back to the um, the slide before the last one, the uh, projected tax rate? We we have the assessors in here, right. so I just want to make sure we get all the what page. So uh, page seven. So 
projected FY average property value. Um, they're, they're using 446, 800. Right. 446, mm -hmm. 800. And we ended up, what was the last? Oh, they were estimating. They didn't give me last year. This. Yeah. They so in they last year's presentation, we used 434. Right. So just do the math on those. All right. So four. Actually, the 434 was an estimate, so you might ask yeah. Jeff to give you the actual from the 14 setting process. That's, that's, what, that's what the 446 is. So down, down here at the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> left it the same. Yeah. All right, so it's a push. Right. All right. So. Well, it is a push because that's their major assumption. Yeah, so I'm, not, I'm just going to take out the bottom. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to say property value is X, um, you know, and just delete, increase, decrease. Yeah, and I would just say for purposes of this estimation, it seems yeah. to be flat from fiscal year 14, right? Correct. All right, projected FY15 property tax value 21.61 per thousand, which is an increase from 2120. Oh, that's the 1.9%. Right. And then, so projected average FY tax bill. Right 96, 5, 5, That's uh, pretty accurate. <laughs> which is an increase from 947260. <coughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Any other questions? All right, so then the last. The, uh, the very, very bottom thing on that, the actual fiscal 2015 tax rate does not get finalized until December 2015, right? Not 2014. 2014. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I apologize. Yeah. Okay, last slide. Uh, number nine. <coughs> uh, so last week the um, so we'll, let me just go out of order slightly. Um, the the edits that were requested from from the committee was down in the uh, last bullet point um, under capital expenditures. Where previously it was uh, DPW building and that was changed to town building requests slash improvements. And the committee was fine with everything else on the slide. Um, the question Bob had several questions as a result stemming from the bond rating remains strong at AA3 by Moody. Specifically, um, one, what's the deal with the state DOR having it as AA2? And um, uh, Donna did not, um, couldn't really answer why the, okay. uh, but it, it is AA3. Um, in terms of history, it's been that for at least the last eight years. And um, is this the question? The other question Bob had was Is this the highest rating a town of this size is based on? And um, her Donna's comment was uh, The rating is the highest rating the movie said we could receive given our lack of business mix in our tax base. It is not based on population. Although, remember, our rating could drop if Moody's feels our reserves are not substantial. So that was uh, the, 
so it, which goes to Bob's last question that he asked of me, which was, can anything be done to raise the rating? Which is um, so, given the the fact that the answer is, um, you know, increase business uh, use, um, even if you know everything goes through and the business wise gets funded. Um, it's it's not really going to move the needle. So yeah, the, the issue the issue is we're over reliant on residential taxes. Yes. So so okay. but that's it, okay. But even if okay, well I understand that. What was my point? So I was going to suggest that when we talk about this, you say something like it's A three, it's very strong, and is reflects our. Uh, Amongst other things, our free cash position and our stabilization reserve fund, right? Because those play into it, right? There's been some talk out there that we've heard this budget cycle that if we dip our cash targets down and our, you know, uh, that it affects our rating, right? And, and I get that. Our rating hasn't changed in eight years, even though free cash has gone like this, okay? Um, I. I think this rating gets a little bit overplayed because let's be honest, if we're at AA, what's lower than AA3? Is it AA2 or is it AA4? Four. Four. A1 is A1. the next, A right. single A1 is the next step down. Yeah. Right. Double A2. Even at single A1, right. it's not single A1 from AA3. Not that I promote this or want this to happen. It has no material impact on our ability to borrow money Payback. at attractive interest rates. You're right. negligible. I think even David would agree with that. I'd especially agree with that. So I think it's always good to promote a strong rating and to maintain it. If it, I just fear that the, the town, if 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 free, if, we, if free cash does what we want it to do, we may, we, we may very well go down to AA2 because it's not a million two, a it's, it's 500,000 or AA1, whatever the, I'm not good at the, the scales. <laughs> It's a still an excellent, strong rating that has no impact on the town's Great. ability to raise capital at a, attractive rates. None. Virtually none. Okay. Having sat in on one or two of those meetings uh, back in Jody's day with the Moody's people, the stabilization fund, they seem to focus on more than the than free, cash. free cash, but, um, you know, the, that was a lot of years ago, so yeah. so the, the new analysts could be. Well, you know, it, it's also <coughs> secondary from what the treasurer tells us to the fact that we are so reliant on the residential tax rate, right? That sort of surprises me because our commercial valuations have been far more volatile than our residential valuations. Our commercial stuff is. Yeah. No, it's just such a small percentage overall. Yeah, but, but, but I'd be surprised that you'd rather have yeah you'd rather have relied on residential yeah. than commercial. Yeah. That's historically more volatile than residential. Yeah. You have a large portion of your revenue base uh, tied to corporate or uh, industrial occupancy. Right. In a down economy. In a down economy, companies go bankrupt and move out of town. Houses still remain. No, I, I realize that they must have some. You know, I, they must have some. I think they're probably overreacting the to last do. five years with the housing yeah. industry. Yeah, it would just you know, as opposed to having a five percent exposure, you know, a fifteen or twenty might be nicer. You know? Yes, that's all. I think. It's, but, but it seems I it seems counterintuitive that what I'm hearing the rating agencies look at is. They ding you if your preponderance of property tax revenue is more based on residential or too high residential. That seems to me like a better thing than, than the other way. But yeah. Whatever. Well, you know, it's part of their portfolios, and you've got to have a certain mix. And they've got some yeah. historical thing that says this mix, on average, is best. And if you deviate too far from that, you get dinged. I mean, it's it's not a philosophical thing. But, I think they just. But, but to anyone that asks, what, are our, what does our rating do for us? And to my uh, untrained eye and experience, the only thing that matters with regards to our rating is our ability to borrow money at a rate. And a very favorable rate. A very rate. favorable rate. That's, I would agree with that. And if we're out of the borrowing money game, 
you know, I'm not saying who cares, but What's you're trying to do AA3 or AA1 or BBB9 or whatever the heck the next thing is. It doesn't well, it make sense. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 AA3 and would make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> so, where, like, so where, where would it? So if, if we are AA3, right, I mean, obviously going into the Bs are going to have a... Exactly. I think we would have to go into the Bs to have as much as an eighth of a percentage point a year difference. I think the difference between double A3 and single A3 right now on a five-year note would probably be an eighth of a you percentage know, point. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with any of that, but I do want to say if something spectacular happens in Europe, those minor differences are going to magnify. Yeah, no, okay. you know. I mean, it, but that's out of our control anyway. Yeah. Those are going to magnify even if we keep an AA3. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm well, we would drop to an AA1 first, right? We, you would drop down and kind of get single warning. A1 to single yeah, A1. Yeah, and then you, then you might and pay. Then you go, okay, if the wait, next drop yeah. was into the Bs, then you think right. about it. We have room to fall. Not that we want to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But we kind of get a warning. The only other comment I'd make is I think the, build, the B in building should be a small B, not a capital. Sure. <laughs> Can I make one other comment on this slide? Absolutely. You have uh, education costs as a, a future budgetary issue, and I would expect, or uh, uh, I believe that you're probably going to talk to this, right? But the issue, the, the, the words around the issue is, is that we cannot sustain the school system growing at a 5% clip while everything else grows at a... $80,000 yeah. clip. It's well, yeah. just not sustainable. Exactly. And to your point of, um, you know, on the on the bridge slide where it's yeah. it's 80, 80, 80 plus percent, 88 right? percent of our overall and then, and so, yeah, that's what's going on on an operating basis year over year. But this is also speaking, you know, factoring in that there's, there's uh, talk of some type of expansion, right? A cat. We're talking now. We're talking all that happening on top of capital projects, yeah. um, which just yeah. add even more to it. So, yeah, duly yeah. noted. And I think in the past I've made my points on the school budget. Um, I guess I would say you know the money not being spent effectively, but I do think it's a problem that. Neshoba is averaging less than the state average per pupil expenses, whereas the better schools are well above that. Right. So they're going to say so at some point, "Are right, you going to criticize our ranking? Then we need to spend even more." more money and and, and, and my right. my issue then becomes less about how much money is spent. Let's let's get the let's ramp up the effect of, effectiveness of what you're already spending. Mm -hmm. That's what I think the issue is, and um, and frankly, that's 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 an issue for for the parents of all three towns, because they're they're getting away with whatever we let them get away with. Yeah, yeah. And, so much I said, salary, and I said at the selectmen meeting, and I'd be remiss if I ran away from it and said it here is that it, to me the only I've said many times I'm very pleased with this budget and the overall work that we've done and the outcome. I hope. I hope town meeting reflects that. But what's the, the only thing that's disappointing to me, and we've made it a pinnacle of our message in years past, and it doesn't appear to be one this year, is the school budget, for the most part, has gone completely under the radar this year. Yeah. That mm -hmm. being $580,000 increase, which is just completely asinine to me. And we're not. We didn't approve the budget with the exception of the Neshoba assessment as we have in the years past that hasn't ha had much teeth or, or legs to it. Um, we're in a particularly attractive financial situation this year, but let's be clear, if, if the 580 in the schools this year was 380, we would have been able to give $200,000 back, more back than we are able to. Or we wouldn't have to borrow All things the being truck. Or we wouldn't have to, we could have paid for cash with the truck. We'd still done what we did. There are. Every dollar we spend on the schools is a dollar we're not spending on something else. Uh, and the schools, in this case, I know they went back to the drawing board and, and took our scenario cutting suggestion to heart like they have in the years past. <coughs> they even implemented one tier of them, which was 
an overall reduction of about 100,000, which impacted us in the $35,000 range. It's, it's progress. I don't know how much of that is already built into the first round of the budget that's submitted, which I suspect there's some of that negotiation tactics that, that happen. Um, but it's, it, is, uh, it is unsustainable, this is the, the best word for it. Yeah. Well, well, the know, how long are we going to turn our back on operational needs of this town because well, we're spending 88% of our new money on schools? Well, even to that point, the fact that we, we've we sent a very clear message year over year and we still had to have them go back and, and, and have us request them. They wouldn't build have done that the if we didn't ask them. It's like it should be an, a foregone conflict. Conclusion, just an automatic, absolutely. Every budget needs to be stress tested, even if you think it's the best budget you've ever put together. You need to throw things against the wall and see what sticks. And the way to do that is scenario testing and stress testing and open forums and all that. And I'm not sure that there's enough time in the process or the appetite, quite frankly, to do that. I think that's something that we still have to keep our, uh, our attention on in the future. Okay, anything else? Okay. Uh, so the presentation looks like it's in good shape, right? Um, good job. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. I have a, oh, here's draft minutes. Here, you want this? You can see what you got? Sure. All right. Um, we have a request from um, Wendy Day to transfer $5,000 from the advisory reserve uh, to cover legal expenses. Um, based on the latest set of bills that they, they're requesting $5,000 for transfer. And the present balance in the appropriation is uh, minus 180. Uh, there's another set of bills that Linda should be getting in the next five to 10 days. They may be coming back to us next week for more. So, I don't know if you're talking about lawyers. Let's just say no. The main motion would approve the transfer request in the amount of $5,000 from the advisory reserve to the legal fund, the legal uh, account. Second. Okay, is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. Uh, it passes unanimously. Thank you. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Do you have any idea how much is in the advisory reserve at this stage? I believe it's on it's the 80,000 minus this. Minus is probably this. So, so the 75 is sharing yeah. that. Okay. I was going to say. So, so, so far, it, it wouldn't appear you'd need to no. invoke that article. But no, I brought it up last week about taking it out, mm -hmm. and uh, people just wanted to leave it in there for the sake of leaving it in there. But. Um, Unless something changes dramatically, you shouldn't need, you it, shouldn't need it. it. Easy pass over. Um, all right, so we will meet here. So we will be here for the next two weeks, um, and the selectmen do not have a meeting this week. They are meeting. They are meeting May first. Um, that'd be an interesting meeting to go to, as it's the last one prior to town meeting. But, uh, so I will ask that we're posted for that, but right now there's, I don't even know that there's, there's an agenda for the May 1st meeting, so I don't know that there's any pressing issues. They, they have canceled this coming Thursday? Yes. So does anybody have any other questions or issues they want to bring up? That being none, anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? All those in favor, please say goodbye by saying aye. 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 Thank you. All right, we're done. Good night. Okay, that was quick. That was prompt. 50 minutes. Every session.